I found an absolute game changer that is going to save you so much time when you're tumbling your rocks and I cannot wait to show you. So when you're moving between the different stages when you're tumbling your rocks, it's important that you do a burnish cycle. And for the longest time, I would always do that burnish cycle by putting some dish soap in my rocks with some water and putting them back on the tumbler for several hours up to a full day. Now when I heard about ultrasonic cleaners, however, I thought, hmm, maybe these could also be used to help me clean off my rocks and any of the grit that gets in those tiny little cracks and crevices. And over the last few months, I think I found the perfect recipe that will get your rocks back on a tumbler quicker within half probably even less the amount of time than the traditional methods that you would use to clean your rocks. So enough talk, let me show you. So here I have some labradorite that has been tumbling in 1000 grit aluminum oxide. It's about to go on to the polish, which I'm pretty excited about, but we're gonna take this and typically, when you wanna rinse these off, you're going to rinse these off, rinse out the barrel, add soap, add water, and tumble them for a few hours, but it's really better to tumble them for up to a day. Now I'm here to tell you that there's a much easier way. So after you do this initial rinse, and of course you do really wanna get in there and scrub through them with water, just can't do that with one hand. I'm just gonna take this brush and kinda of lightly scrub out the outside rim where you can see all of that grit. Then I'm gonna take these rocks and put them back in the tumbler just so that they stay nice and wet while I move them over to the ultrasonic cleaner. And just look at that labradorite shine. Oh, beautiful. I have them all back in the tumbler now and you can see just how cloudy that water is even after rinsing them and getting off all of that extra grit. But what we're gonna do now is bring this over to the ultrasonic cleaner. So here I have my ultrasonic cleaner. Now you may see that little burn mark right there. That was user error. I left the heater on and dumped the water out. So it kind of like singed it a little bit there, but it hasn't affected the quality or the use of my ultrasonic cleaner. So uh, just don't do that if you decide to use one. But here I'm gonna take some egg at Ariel water. <laughs> kidding, uh, but some water. And this is just as hot as I could get it off of my tap. And I just refilled my cup so that we can get the water level right up to that lip. All right, and just one more, probably won't use the whole cup. We'll stop it about there because I do still have to add the rocks. I just dumped the water that was in here out because it is cold hose water. And I'm going to carefully put my rocks and ceramic media, so those white little pellets, into the ultrasonic cleaner. So I just kind of spread them out so it is even throughout the bottom. And now we're gonna add some down dish soap. And I don't really know how much I put in. I just kind of just do about that. Then we got a little switch here in the back that we turn on. And I'll turn this heat portion on. Right now it's 41 Celsius. And I have it set to 60. It doesn't ever actually get up to 60. If I leave it in long enough, it would, but I just like it to be constantly heating up and for 15 minutes. I do do this outside just because it's not necessarily loud, but it's like screechy. I don't know. It sounds ultrasonic, <laughs> if that makes sense. But we'll turn this on so that it's heating up and I'm gonna let this run for 15 minutes. Here is what it looks like when it starts running. So you can kind of see, and I, you can kind of hear it in the video, not super great, but look, right there. Do you see all of that grit that is being loosened off of the rock? Look at that, do you see that? Look at all that. So that is all the grit that we would have missed had I just moved them on right away without doing any burnish cycle, but this grit is also coming out a lot quicker than if you would humble them in soap and water. Because that ultrasonicness is really getting in all those cracks and crevices. And sometimes when you look close, like in that one especially, you can almost see the grit coming out of like the tiny little crack in the rock. It's a really cool. Ooh, so look, like right there. So do you see how the bubbles are actually coming up? Oh in the cracks of the rock. So it's getting in super, super deep. It is so cool. 
truly a game changer. So as we wait, I'm going to clean out the barrel, the lid, and the strainer, because I'm gonna use this same strainer to dump all of the rocks and the water back through. And of course, you don't want any grit stuck in those tiny little pieces of our strainer. So let's just add some soap and get scrubbing. And if you wanna win cool rocks like this, head on over to my Patreon where I give away all kinds of cool rocks in our monthly giveaways. And if you become a top member of my Patreon, I'll send a rock to your door every single month. All right, our 15 minutes is up. It did gain a couple degrees here, so this water is very hot. Now I am going to turn this off before we do anything else so I don't end up getting those burn marks again. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these out and I honestly just kind of take this whole thing and just dump it into this strainer. And then I take it and rinse it all off. And we're gonna put it in another round of our ultrasonic cleaner bath just to really make sure that any of this grit in the water is not attaching to our rocks again and make it nice and clean. Okay, and so I do actually take this to my bathroom faucet um, with a little container underneath just so that I can use the hot water and really rinse these out good. Okay, so we're back outside. I rinsed this out. I added some more water. So here's just a little bit more. Now we're gonna add our rocks back in here for round two. So I'm just gonna kinda try to gently <laughs> dump them back in here. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful glower right there. And we'll spread these back out. Of course, make sure when you put your hands in here that this is not on. Um, I don't know what happened if your hand was in there when it was on, but I don't really want to find out either. So, got those all spread out. And we're going to add some more dish soap here. Get this back on. Heat on. 15 more minutes. And hopefully this time around as we watch, you'll be able to see that not as much powder is coming up because we did a really good job with washing them last time. So that's kind of what I look for in the second wash is just to really make sure that there's not a bunch of the grit powder coming through and that it's more you know, clean overall. Looks like maybe there's a tiny bit of cloudiness there, but not nearly what it looked like the first time through. So that tells us this did a really good job. So we will let this go for about 14 minutes and 10 more seconds. All right, we're sitting at 51 degrees here. I did wave a little longer this time just because I got distracted, but as you can see, they are definitely not looking as cloudy. So let's get these rinsed off and put back in the tumbler now. Do you see how quick and easy that is? I mean, come on. And just look at the difference of that water. Yes, there is water in here. That is how clean that ultrasonic cleaner made this water for our next step. It is crazy. We did not have to wait several hours or up to a day just to wash our rocks. They're already done after a half an hour. I mean, how could you get better than that? And as I said, I've been doing this for several months and I honestly think that the clean and just ability to get into all those little tiny cracks and crevices is incredible and does way better than tumbling them in just dishwashing fluid or ivory soap or borax ever did for me. If you wanna check out this ultrasonic cleaner, I will have it linked down below, but let me know if you try this out. I think it's a great option. I love it and I hope that you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.